The unbreakable faith of Korean martyrs, Saints Andrew Kim, Paul Chong, and their companions. What would drive someone to risk their life for their faith? The story of Andrew Kim Taegon, the first native Korean priest, and his companions offers a glimpse into the unwavering courage and sacrifice that helped Christianity take root in Korea. The following key points will be explored in the inspiring story of Saints Andrew Kim Taegon, Paul Chong Ha Song, and their companions. What transformative experiences shaped them into saints? What significant contributions did they make to the faith? What valuable lessons can Christians learn from their legacy? Join us as we explore the captivating story of these courageous martyrs. The Saints' Background Andrew Kim Taegon was born into a family of Christian converts during a time when Christianity was fiercely persecuted in Korea. At just 15, he was baptized, and despite numerous challenges, he traveled 1,300 miles to study in China, becoming Korea's first native priest. His return to Korea was marked by dangerous missions to bring more priests into the country, all while under constant threat of arrest. He was eventually captured, tortured, and martyred for his faith in 1846, at the young age of 25. Paul Chong Hassong, a dedicated layman, worked tirelessly to keep the faith alive during the same period. He played a crucial role in advocating for more missionaries to enter Korea and remain steadfast in his devotion despite persecution, eventually suffering martyrdom in 1839. Their companions included figures like Columba Kim, Peter Rio, and other martyrs. How they died. Columba Kim, a 26-year-old with her sister Agnes, endured imprisonment, piercing with hot tools and burning coals, and were disrobed and kept in a cell with condemned criminals for two days. Both sisters were eventually beheaded. Peter Rio, a 13-year-old boy, had his flesh so badly torn that he could pull off pieces and throw them at the judges. He was killed by strangulation. Protes Chong, a 41-year-old nobleman, confessed his faith and was tortured to death. Despite the challenges due to Korea's isolationist policies, around 1777, Christian literature from Jesuits in China inspired educated Korean Christians to study, leading to the formation of a home church. When a Chinese priest secretly entered Korea a dozen years later, he found 4,000 Catholics, none of whom had ever seen a priest. Seven years later, there were 10,000 Catholics. Finally, religious freedom was granted in Korea in 1883. In 1984, Pope John Paul II canonized Andrew, Paul, and 98 other Koreans, along with three French missionaries martyred between 1839 and 1867. Among them were bishops and priests, but most were laypersons, 47 women and 45 men. Welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. Lasting Legacy Saints Andrew Kim Taegon, Paul Chong Ha Song, and their companions left a legacy of resilience and devotion that continues to inspire Christians worldwide. Their martyrdom sparked a revival of faith in Korea, and their stories remind us of the cost of discipleship in the face of persecution. Despite having no priest for years, the Korean church grew rapidly, showing the power of lay leadership and a living, thriving faith. Their lives teach Christians the importance of courage, community, and unwavering commitment to Christ, even in the darkest times. The Korean martyr's sacrifice also highlights how faith can flourish under persecution, showing that true belief goes beyond religious rites to a deep, living faith. Powerful Bible verses to validate their accomplishments. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5.10 Be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. Revelation 2.10
In conclusion, the Korean martyrs exemplified extraordinary faith and sacrifice, laying the foundation for the flourishing of Christianity in Korea. Despite intense persecution, their courage ensured the growth of the church. Their legacy continues to inspire Christians to stand firm in their faith, no matter the cost. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.